guys, Kiona here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of finding your true sensitivity. Having the right sensitivity, in my opinion, is one of the most important parts of a PvP. I mean, think about it. Movement, knockback, click speed, none of these matter if you can't track well because you're handicapping your accuracy. I see so many players either having a really low sensitivity or having a really high sensitivity. I mean, take a look at this guy. He's obviously suffering from a really high sense. He can't track well and he's just all over the place. The worst part is these players don't even know that it's a bad sense. They use it and constantly fight an uphill battle in PvP. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find the right sensitivity just for you. Before I do start, I want to quickly mention that this video is inspired by Intel Edit's PvP tutorials. Ellie is basically a guru when it comes to PvP, okay? He has done many PvP based tutorials in the past and they're all super informative and entertaining. If you want to learn more about PvP, check out his channel and I'll leave it in the description down below. Alright, without out of the way, let's get right into the video. So for the first step in finding a perfect sensitivity is to look at your mouse's DPI. Now if you don't know what DPI it is, it's basically a type of measurement that correlates to inches and pixels on your screen. For example, Boring. Okay, basically DPI is just another sensitivity setting in your mouse. So to find the DPI of your mouse, you can use the mouse's brand software. So for me, that's Razer Synapse, so I can download it right here. You just go to the program, go here, go to performance, and it says it right here, Sage 2. I'm at that right now. Basically, I use the DPI buttons right here, switch the Sages like that and right now i'm currently at stage two which is 1800 dpi so that's one way to find your dpi of your mouse if you have a budget mouse like this one right here it's the the esports g52 right here so you can search it up right here and basically what you want to do for your budget mouse is search up the brand name right here and basically you can find the the the, the yeah. So you can find the website of the mouse and then you can find like the specs of it. So right here, it should say right here, 500 to 2000 DPI. So the max DPI it is, is 2000 and it shows like the settings. So basically right now, I'm at blue right now. So I'm pretty sure that means I'm at like something around 1800. I'm not sure because I don't really pay attention on use this mouse, but basically that's how you can find your budget mouse's DPI. So after all that research, the G52 mouse, the budget one, has a max of 2000 DPI. And basically if you go a little bit more detail, you can find out which DPI you're using. So yeah, that's how you find the DPI of a budget mouse. Alright, so now for the right DPI settings. As much as sensitivity is all personal and different for each person, there are still some sense, uh, DPIs that are just way too fast or way too slow. So I would recommend sticking with a DPI range of 800 to 2000. I personally use a DPI of 1800. I always been and it's just a really good DPI for me. Of course, you want to try your own settings. You can try by starting off by 1800 if you want to, but ultimately it's going to be a trial and error until you find the right DPI for you. I'm pretty sure most people use 800, like most of the majority of people use 800. Uh, I just use the 1800 and slow down my MC settings little bit but yeah that's just me oh yeah one more thing if you can put your polling rate to a thousand or like the max it could be that's just how much faster your mouse like responses so you want it to be as high as possible and yep that's pretty much it all right part two points of position a lot of people don't know this thing called enhanced points of position and it's basically a setting that speeds up your mouse if you move it too much so for example, if I move my mouse from one side of the screen to another, somewhere between this travel, like around midway, it would speed up just to get to the other side. That's not really good because that's going to mess up your muscle memory because it's not consistent DPI or, or sensitivity and it's just going to mess up your aim a lot. So this is a terrible setting for aiming and tracking because it hurts m muscle memory since it's basically changing your mouse sense in the middle of aiming. I personally had this on for many years until a few months ago and I can definitely feel the difference and it's just much better. So to turn this dog shit setting off, go to settings. Search up mouse settings, go to additional mouse options, go to pointer options, and untick the stupid box. So I personally felt a big difference when I turned this off and I went to a game. And obviously I didn't, like, I had to get adjusted with the new aim. It's not a big difference, but like, it, it's still different. So I had to, like, you know, I could feel something when I aim and track. So I had to, like, take a little bit of time, uh, maybe a few hours, and to get used to the new aim. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Alright, so now with these settings on, you should have a consistent DPI since that pointed position thing is really garbage. And with the Razer or like your mouse's DPI known, you want to make sure you have a good DPI on. Alright, so right now I'm on Minecraft right now. Uh, Luna Clan has been off for like a few hours now. There was like a bug or something with the new update. But it's back up, so um, we're gonna go to some PvP land to show you my right settings and how sensitivity affects PvP. So if you don't know, PvP LAN has this really cool thing that's unique to a PvP pop PvP server. And that's basically you can fight with bots. And basically these bots range from different difficulties and attack speeds, reach and stuff. So right now, okay, first I should probably show you my sense. Basically, I use a f sense of 14. Um, I used to use a sense of 19 and um, for a while, like actually, like I think my whole career, I think. But yeah, I changed that to 14 a few days ago and my aim feels a lot more smooth. And basically when you're jitter clicking and like all, the, all these other clicking methods, you want to make sure your aim is as smooth as possible. So basically if I go back to 19, you guys should feel a big difference, or at least I should. Like, it's a lot more, like, 
it's different <laughs> like it's a lot more hard you guys also commented about that before and I, I got a comment before I'll, I'll try putting it on the screen if i can find it but someone was saying how the aim was jittery and i can i agree because of the sense see i'm gonna fight a bot here i'm gonna go hard because actually it's pretty hard i'm not gonna lie i mean i'm not that great of a poppy here but um the, these bots the hard bot is pretty like mediocre so so i'm gonna show you guys how smooth my aim is i'm probably gonna get destroyed here because i haven't played all day because lunar has been off but my tracking is pretty good like my cross is as good as it can get probably pretty much and basically in minecraft pvp you want to make sure your cross is exactly on it on the player because that's pretty much how it goes it's not like another fps game where you constantly flick like that and stuff uh but you want to like have your mouse cursor all the time on it because you're always hitting like that So you guys saw right there that's what happens when you have a really good sense right there this is like a really good sense for me like it's really smooth and stuff so i'm gonna play on a different sense right now and i'm gonna show you guys how bad it is okay let's try this sense 23. yeah this is a lot more jittery i'm maybe gonna go to medium just to show you guys see you guys can already see it's a lot jittery and it's harder to control yeah i'm like moving a lot too much i also need to like yeah look at that the cross is just flicking across the screen it's really weird I mean, I'm trying even more harder than the last round too, and my aim is still like dog shit. Yeah, it's not even all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys like a, like another another sense. Like that wasn't even as high as the sense as uh, I've seen other people use. This is like how jittery other people's are. It's so bad. Oh, I can't even pop. I I even pop right. Am I? Oh my! It moves so fast. I'm actually gonna play with a lower sense now. So this is how it feels like when you play with a lower sense. I can't turn around fast enough. I have a big mouse pad and I can't. Yeah. See, sensitivity matters. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video at all, make sure to leave a like down below. It's really greatly appreciated. While you're at it, comment down below if you guys like this new kind of video. I never really did one of these before besides that one CPS video a few months back. But if you found it in informative, entertaining, or you just have some general feedback, it'd be really cool if you can leave it down below. If you haven't already, subscribe if you're new. The best part about it is that it's free. You can always change it back anytime. And it enables you to have post notifications on so you never miss a video ever again. Follow my Twitter, Twitch, and join my Discord server in the description. But other than that, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.